Hi, everyone. Happy holidays. Thank you for joining the Private Property Farming Podcast. Uh, my name is Mbali Nwoko once again, and um, we are streaming live from uh, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, from wherever you may be watching us or joining us today, um, please feel free to comment, ask any questions, because today's topic is about technology. And we all know, especially now during the times of the global pandemic, COVID-19, how important technology is in our lives. Um, but I think similarly into the agricultural perspective, technology has completely changed the way in which we farm. It has completely disrupted the way in which we produce our food, grow cattle, etc. And so I'm quite excited about today's topic. So again, feel free to keep engaging and asking questions um, specific to this topic today. But um, without further ado, let's get into it. I am solo today. And so I'm going to be co um, covering the topic around technology completely on my own today. So um, I'm just really going to be talking on experience and just uh, based on industry knowledge and how other farmers also use technology and um, make it, um, you know, uh, a part of their daily lives and just um, use technology in such a way that it could really grow their agribusinesses or their farms. Um, and so the, I think it's important to first understand why we need technology, right? Um, because farming is such an, um, an, an, an old age industry and really has uh, one that has just stood the test of time and um, has developed um, over centuries or decades ago. Um, and when we're looking at 2020 today, technology is such a critical part in which we consume or, or maybe just run our farm simply because consumers want to know how um, our food is grown and how uh, and where it really comes from. So technology assists us firstly um, uh, in the form of traceability, knowing where the food comes from, knowing where, um, you know, or how cattle, uh, or, or sorry, how your, your, your food was produced over and above and where it comes from, um, and just directing things from the farm. So traceability is one in which, um, uh, one way in which we use technology really to to help us make informed decisions um, about the food that we consume or how things were made. Um, but more, most importantly, I think the reason why farmers need technology on their farm is to get better insights um, on their farms. Um, and what I mean by that is that farmers need to know on any given day why it's important to use um, technology and why it's important to know what happens in your operations. Because, for example, if you have a big farm um, where there's so many employees managing things at different times on the farm in different areas of the farm, and you know you've got yes, granted farm managers, but as a farm owner, you also want to know really what's happening at your farm at any given point in time. And so, technology allows that. Um, furthermore, you also want to know what is happening on the farm from a production level. So whether you're raising cattle um, or have crops on the ground, you need to know, are your crops um, healthy? Is the soil good? Um, are we watering um, correctly? Are we fertilizing correctly? Um, are we using the right chemicals as well? And is it really helping grow our plants? Um, the way in which our spraying programs are, 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 are structured, is it really helping us from a production level? And so really technology provides insight. It also helps us to run our farms more efficiently and effectively. It streamlines processes. Um, and also you could just keep abreast of the, all the activities and operations that happen on a farm on a daily basis. And so you could go back to those records if, if there's a crisis on the farm and you want to really investigate where did I go wrong in my processes or in my operations. And so you could use technology to gather data, to record and store information that you could use um, in the next future um, or in the future when you want to really go back to those archives and understand really how your operations have grown um, over time. And so let's maybe tap into the different types of technologies that exist. Firstly, I think we have access to smartphones. So for, for any one of you that is farming, there is a smartphone, you know, whether it's Apple or, um, or a Samsung phone, you have access to a Play Store or um, the Google Store. And you could download apps that are specific to farming. And so, for example, for crop farmers, I know there's a very good app that I use, Tilo app, which allows you to record um, data 
any any activities that are happening on farm. So for example, you could um, record your uh, land preparation activity, your soil preparation activity, when you're gonna start planting, how you're irrigating and when you're irrigating, um, when you're starting to spray, when you're starting to fertilize your crops, um, you could record all that information, store it, and then export it into in an Excel data, and you could have access to that information in such a way that it could make sense to you. And what's great about the app as well that is that not only as a farm owner, you could also share that information with your farm managers or your supervisors on the farm or anybody you're allocating or giving access to to use that app. And you could, um, you know, just discuss over that information in a meeting. Um, and really assist you in terms of farming better. Um, and that app is free to use currently. Also, there's another app called Cropalizer. Um, you know, for all farmers, for the farmers who um, are, are just starting to farm, um, but really are not familiar with um, different pests and diseases that exist out there, Cropalizer will, will be able to show you, for example, you go into the app and you say, um, you're farming peppers, for example, and it could show you the different types of diseases or defects or pests that you are um, possibly will encounter throughout your production period that you might not know. And so it will show you um, maybe pictures of aphids. And if you walk onto your farm and you, just, and you find that um, you've got something everyone sorry about that technical glitch um, I am at the farm and the connection doesn't seem to be too stable or too strong today so please I hope you forgive me um, and I'm really not sure where I had um, disconnected um, when I was speaking and so I think I'll just try summarize the beginning um, just for anybody that may be joining um, and it's just as for anybody that was um, watching just as a recap to say you know today's topic is really about how you could leverage off technology to make um, your farming life a lot more simpler um, or to elevate your 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 farm and so um, I started off by saying that you know the reason why we're using using technology is simply because it is to help us to become more efficient as farmers and more effective to streamline our operations and I really don't want you to think of technology as um, data or um, artificial intelligence or the internet of things and thinking that, geez, these things come at a pricey heft, um, pricey, um, uh, uh, a hefty uh, price tag. But um, there are really technology products or apps available out there in the market that you could use as a farmer that is free or that is inexpensive 
that could cost a couple of hundred rands or a few thousand rands and really won't break the bank. Um, however, you know, I guess, I guess at high level, then we can also um, look at things like the Internet of Things, um, using drones uh, in your everyday farming practices or, or, or farming uh, operations um, and using very um, um, high level systems um, that could uh, form part uh, of your work function on the farm. But um, I just wanted to also give examples of um, technologies that are out there for farmers to use. And I think the most simplest ones are farming apps. And so there's a data record keeping farming app that I use called Tillo app, which is T-I-L-L-O. Um, and Tillo app is a free app that you could use for any farmer, whether you're a crop, livestock or grain farmer. Um, and basically what Tillo app does is that it helps you as a farmer record and manage your data on your app and so if you used to write things on a notepad or in a diary um, every single activity that occurs on the farm in the past you could use Tillo um, as a reference um, to substitute that diary or that A4 book that you used to write on but furthermore what Tillo does is that um, you could share that information with any farm managers or farm supervisors that you have on site or share it with other employees that you could give access to and um, this information that is recorded um, you know, you could use that information in your monthly meetings or weekly meetings that you have in, as a team um, to obviously um, schedule tasks for the week ahead or for the month ahead for your immediate teams as well. And so this information is shareable with a number of individuals. You could even download that information or extract that information in a form of Excel spreadsheet where you could actually view all your farm's activities or operations, for example, in that month. And you could make uh, informed decisions in terms of how you really want to operate your farm in the month going forward or in the next quarter, etc. cetera. So um, that is just one uh, app that you could use that could assist you from a data or record keeping perspective. There's another app that I mentioned, which is Cropalyzer. Um, and that is for farmers that um, are really not familiar with all the different um, pests and diseases that are out there, especially specific to the commodity that you're farming. So for example, if you may be walking in your farm and you're scouting and you start to see thrips or aphids on a leaf, and you're not sure that they are thrips or aphids, you could use Cropalyzer and um, you um, input, for example, let's say you're farming uh, peppers and you could go there, uh, click on the pepper uh, link, and then it will just give you a rundown of the different um, photos um, of pests uh, that you may find uh, that are um, typically attracted to pepper plants. And so if you see that, oh, this is aphids that you've just spotted, um, then it will give you a breakdown of the different type of um, chemicals that you could use to rectify or control or manage those aphids. But um, it will obviously um, recommend the, the, the chemicals or the right corrective ingredients to use um, which is owned by the company that um, developed the Cropalyzer app. And so I just also want to put a disclaimer going forward that all these companies or apps um, that I'm going to mention in today's live, um, I'm not fully recommending them or endorsing them or advertising them, but it's just... Um, uh, apps or company names that I know that are out there in the market, you could find online. And it's just giving examples of, um, you know, technology um, uh, tools that you could use in your everyday life on the farm. Um, another fantastic startup um, that, uh, you know, is a fantastic South African based startup, that's what I wanted to say, is um, Aerobotics. And this is primarily for fruit tree farmers. So if you're growing avocados uh, or citrus, etc., apples, um, Aerobotics is a great app to use. And basically what it does, it assists you to um, understand the health of your fruit trees, especially if you've got a big orchard and, um, you know, it really doesn't make economic sense to really drive up and down the orchard and um, just basically diagnosing which tree is really um, in a good in a good um, condition um, as and when you're, 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 you're doing your scouting. So basically what Aerobotics does is that you could schedule a drone flight where they would come out onto your farm and then do a drone flight. And the 
information that could come out from the drone flight, for example, is it could tell you how many trees are in your orchard, um, how many trees are in that in a specific row or in a specific line on that orchard, and how many trees are of good health, how many trees are in distress in distress. And if you find out that there are certain trees that are in distress in that specific block or area on that on your farm or orchard, you can then um, go deeper and analyze that specific tree and identify what about it is making it not perform well as compared to the other trees. And um, therefore you can then detect whether it's a, is a, if it's a disease problem or if it's a pest problem. And um, it will identify that, okay, your current tree is maybe affected by thrips, for example. And so then you would then be able to make an informed decision in terms of, okay, let me rather spay this specific tree than instead of spraying the entire orchard. And so this is what you call precision farming. You are really treating the tree or the plant um, specific to its needs. So um, as opposed to um, before we had these uh, technologies in the market, you would typically scout your farm on a daily basis or just follow through your uh, spraying program or your fertilizing program and just treat every single plant or tree um, in a blanket approach. Um, I know some farmers, I know we, we, we previously used to do this uh, as well, where for example, we knew that every Tuesday, for example, we would then um, fertilize with nitrogen. Um, and uh, every Thursday we would spray, for example. And so it would be spraying um, on the farm that, um, irrespective of which crop it is, but um, we would just spray and we weren't really investigating, do the crops or plants need um, any fertilizers today, you know? So this is the advantage of using um, technology and this is how technology has changed um, uh, the way in which we farm today. And so uh, precision farming is definitely a lot more effective. It helps you reduce your operational costs on the farm. So you don't really have to um, keep wasting fertilizers or um, any, any, any chemicals that you need to spray on the farm. You really are treating the plant as and when it needs to be treated. Um, going back to irrigation as well. Um, you know, there are very, uh, a diverse range of um, uh, automated irrigation systems uh, that you could use on the farm today. And there's many products that exist in the market, such as Netafim, Hortimax Grow, um, uh, even a rainbird solution, you know, that really is inexpensive. So I think any farmer could use these systems, systems on the farm. And uh, basically what they could do is manage or control the EC or the pH um, or that exists on your farm in the water, etc. They could um, detect your soil health. They could also um, automatically irrigate when they see that, okay, the soil is getting a bit dry, the plants are under distress, they need to be watered and they could be watered efficiently. So um, for example, if you're putting two liters per hour per plant, it will give exactly two liters per hour per plant. And so you, this, these are all the information that you could input once off onto the system and that the system would run automatically. So basically you're telling your system what you're planting and how that plant needs to be treated. And obviously this information will come from your agronomist. And this is why I make reference every time in my videos to say, you have to have a good relationship with um, all the important stakeholders in your business. And agronomist is one such individual because they're the ones that help you plan out how you're going to start your production cycle and what your plants need and what yields you should be expecting from the specific um, uh, production that, that you're growing in that season. And also, um, I know I've made a number of reference to um, to crop production, but I also know that there's a very good um, um, app, uh, technology uh, um, app that exists out there in the market, um, and that is established by the Awareness Company. It's also another South African startup, and um, for livestock farmers, you could really track and trace your cattle, your goats, your sheep where it is that they're grazing, where it is that they're drinking from, and especially this is very convenient for farmers that have thousands of hectares, for example, on their farms. Um, and um, just to just to break it down a bit, for example, you could use the Hydra. I think it's a it's a it's a system that they call it. Um, it's the Hydra model or the Hydra system. And what it does basically, it tracks 
where the livestock are grazing. Um, it could track and detect the security of that livestock. Um, you could always be informed as a farmer of the number of livestock that you have. If a, if a specific um, cattle uh, or cow is sick, you could really track its movements in terms of where did it last graze, where did it last drink water? Um, you could go test that water and just try to investigate of um, any, any, any problems that have might occurred um, with this cattle um, that has obviously led to it being sick. And so from there on, once you find what the problem is, then you obviously can correct um, or, or, or really assist that, that cow or the cattle um, accordingly based on whatever the problem, uh, whatever problem it has. And so these are a number of technologies and just simple examples of how you could really farm better, um, have full control and, uh, and manage your farm a lot better and basically to derive information and data from all these different technologies and tools and apps that you're using on a daily basis to ba basically make informed decisions in the next future. And it, it, and it could be, the future could be in the next day or week or month or next season, for example. But this is what's available out there. And um, I really don't want you to feel like um, it's, it's quite overwhelming and that all these um, uh, companies that exist in the market or solutions that exist in the market come at a quite quite high price. But, you know, I think every farmer has every uh, has their different needs based on the size of the farm. And so you as a farmer need to ensure that um, you are using technology that speaks to your specific need and your operations on the farm. Um, and I know sometimes you always allude to technology being agri-tech, but you know this, um, when you're a farmer, you essentially are running a business. And so um, I know another one major uh, problem that exists in agriculture today is that farmers don't have good financial records or they don't do um, um, their monthly management accounts, etc. One such technology that you could use in your business um, that is nothing to do with um, specific primary production is um, accounting uh, apps that exist in the market. So that could assist you from an invoicing perspective, um, from a bookkeeping perspective, managing and controlling your company's finances. You could use Sage, QuickBooks, or Wave. Um, they also are available. You could use um, the, the, the apps. Um, yeah, you could use the company or the, the services via an app or a desktop. But I think because farmers are always on the field, on the ground, um, if you're doing your own accounting, for example, and you, and you have a delivery and you want to send an invoice to a client, you could simply do that um, or invoice and complete that invoice and send it to a client at the palm of your hand. And so I think it's important as farmers to think with our business hat on and really remind ourselves that you are running a business essentially at the end of the day. And the importance of using this technology is that firstly, it's really there to make your life easier as a farmer. It helps you to create insight in your farm, where you're going wrong, what, um, what uh, um, actions you can correct if you see that you know your staff is underperforming or your production is really not serving you well you're not getting the right tonnage you're not getting the right yields at the end of the harvest and um this is the reason why we use technology today and you know there are free apps that you could read, definitely trial and test um and i think it's important for every farmer to just make use of it um and so i hope that i've managed to uh, cover this topic quite extensively but um, just to sum it up really I think if you're going to if you want to go into farming today you have to use some form of technology um, to really aid you and um, compete I suppose in the marketplace and really um, shop around and really uh, engage with a number of stakeholders a number of services and a number of companies that exist out there um, track and monitor the performance of the services that exist out there um, and make an informed decision of whether or not this specific uh, 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 technology that you're using does it assist your business does it cut down for example a number of activities that you have to do on a daily basis um, and so yeah i think this is how that this is how you could really get the most out of your farming venture by leveraging off technology by leveraging off the partners that you have in your agribusiness because they too also use technology and so for example if you don't want to use an app 
you could really um, constantly liaise or speak to your agronomist or your sales rep if you're having a problem. You take a picture of an effort and they could tell you that this is an effort, this is how you control it. Use X milliliters of this chemical and the problem will be solved. So also basically leverage off the partnerships that you have because they too use technology to make informed decision on how they can also better assist farmers in their operations because everybody wants to grow at the end of the day and so thank you so much for watching today's live and once again i really apologize for the te technological glitch that we had earlier on but i trust that you will be joining me again on thursday a day before christmas and um i will be covering another topic so be sure to look out on our social media pages um, what that topic will be on Thursday. And again, if you have any questions about today's topic or discussion, please feel free to ask any questions and we will respond accordingly. However, that is it from me today and I will see you on Thursday. Take care.